Ayun naman, <coughs> let's solve a quadratic equation na yung form naman niya ngayon, hindi siya yung ax squared plus bx plus c. Now we're missing the middle term. So ax squared plus c equals 0 yung quadratic equation na isasolve natin. Now, bago tayo mag-solve ng ganitong form, kailangan alam nyo muna yung mga square roots nyo. So, square root kasi, yan yung opposite operation ng exponent of 2. So, kung meron tayong 2 squared, 2 squared we know is equal to 4. Tapos, pag kinuha natin yung square root ng 4, magiging 2 siya. So, going back to the definition, yun lang yung sinasabi ng uh, mga examples natin. Now, itong symbol na to, ito yung tinatawag na radical symbol. So, usually ang tawag natin dyan, square root. Pero minsan kasi, instead na square root, minsan may number 3 dyan, or 4 or 5. So, magiging third root or fourth root or fifth root. So, in general term, we call it radical symbol. So, radical symbol yung um, symbol ng square root. Let's have our first example. So, solve natin yung x. So, number one, we have x squared minus 9 equal to 0. So, yun yung form niya, ax squared plus c equals 0. So, it's missing the linear term, yung uh, um, x. So, para ka lang nagsusolve ng equation, ng normal equation, parang x plus 2 equals 3 or x plus 5 equals 7. So, ngayon, meron nga lang siyang exponent. So, una muna ang gagawin natin is mag-add tayo ng 9 sa both sides para to get rid of 9. So, ngayon, meron tayong x squared equals 9. So, every time meron kayong exponent ng 2, tandaan nyo lang na para matanggal yung exponent na 2, kunin nyo yung square root ng both sides. Kasi, yun yung opposite operation ng exponent. So, pag na-take mo yung square root nga, meron ka na ngayong x equals plus or minus square root of 9. So, every time mag, uh, ano ka, maglagay ka ng square root sa both sides, lagi nyo tandaan na meron tayong plus or minus. Kasi, kung meron tayong 3 dyan, hindi natin alam kung Pag nag-square tayo ng 3, pwede siyang uh, square, 3 squared is 9. And quantity 3 squared is also 9. So, lagi tayo may plus or minus 9 dyan. So, yung, so, yung solution natin, x equals 3 and x equals negative 3. And dun sa example number 2 naman, uh, this time meron tayong uh, coefficient dun sa quadratic term. So, similar dun sa number 1, add tayo ng 8 sa both sides para makancel to. So, meron tayong 2x squared equals 8. And para matanggal naman yung 2 sa x, yung coefficient, i-divide natin yung both sides ng 2. So, maka-cancel yan. At alam naman natin, 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So, ngayon meron tayong x squared is equal to 4. So, hindi pa siya x kasi meron pa siya exponent. So, tatanggalin natin yung exponent by taking the square root of both sides. And magkakaroon tayo ng x equals plus or minus the square root of 4. And uh, we know na yung square root of 4 is equal to 2 and negative 2. Kasi possible na magkaroon tayo ng positive or negative 2 para makuha yung 4 pag in-square natin. Kaya lagi siyang may plus or minus 2. Doon sa example number 3, meron din tayong coefficient which is 25. So, pag sinolve natin, tulad ng ginawa natin sa first two examples, add ng 9 sa both sides para makancel to. Meron tayong 25x squared is equal to 9. To get rid of 25, divide mo yung both sides ng 25. So, meron ka nga yung x squared is equal to 9 over 25. So, hindi mo siya pwede ma-divide. So, 9 over 25 lang siya. So, ngayon, tanggalin natin yung exponent na 2. Take the square root of both sides. Meron tayong x plus or minus. Now, this time, fraction pa rin siya. Pero ngayon, since yung 9 and 25, eh, perfect square, pwede natin siyang simplify. So, square root of 9, we know is 3. And square root of 25 is equal to 5. So, kahit fraction siya, pwede pa rin natin siyang masimplify. So, Lagi nyo tandaan yung uh, sagot nyo. Tingnan nyo muna kung pwede nyo pang simplify. Kung pwede nyo simplify, paliitin nyo yung fraction nyo. Otherwise, yun na yung sagot nyo. So, yung sagot natin for number 3 is x equals 3 over 5 and x equals negative 3 over 5. Dito sa number 4, parang parehas siya ng number 3, pero yung answer natin sa mga susunod magiging magkaiba. So, add tayo ulit ng dalawa, bawa sa both sides, para makancel yung 2. So, meron tayong 3x squared equals 2. Divide naman natin ngayon ng 3. 
yung both sides para yung x squared will be by itself. So, meron tayong fraction 2 over 3. Since meron pang exponent dito, kailangan natin tanggalin yung exponent by um, taking the square of both sides. So, meron tayong x equals plus or minus the squared of 2 over 3. Now, ang kaibahan nito doon sa example number 3 is yung example number 3, pwede natin kunin yung squared ng 9 and 25. Pero dito, hindi na. So, ang sagot na lang natin is square root of 2 over 3 at saka negative square of 2 over 3. Kasi hindi na natin siya pwedeng isimplify. Ngayon naman, kailan nagiging undefined yung sagot natin pagka nag-solve um, tayo ng quadratic equation? So, uh, tingnan natin yung dalawang examples. Doon sa una example, meron tayong x squared plus 81 equals 0. So, subtract tayo ng 81 on both sides because kailangan natin siyang maalis doon sa x. So, meron tayong x squared equals negative 81. Tanggalin yung exponent. Take the square of both sides. Pero ang mapapansin nyo, meron tayong square root of negative 81. Now, ang common error ng mga bata, eh, uh, kunin yung square ng 81, which is 9, pero since may negative yung, x, yung 81 nyo, hindi nyo pwedeng kunin yung square root nyan. Kaya ang sagot dyan is undefined. So, every time meron kayong number na may negative, tapos may square root, or yung square root, or yung number sa loob ng radical ay negative, lagi siyang undefined. So, yun yung tatandaan nyo. Um, common mistake yan ng mga nagkukuha ng square root na minsan kahit may negative, sinisimplify pa rin nila. So, ano lang. Uh, tandaan nyo lang yan. Doon sa number 2 naman, um, tulad nung ginagawa natin, solve for x, so add 4 on both sides, Meron tayong cancellation, negative 3x squared equal to 4. Now, this time, we have negative 3. So, kailangan natin i-divide yung both sides of negative 3 para mas-ansel to. So, ngayon, meron tayong x squared equals negative 4 over 3. So, yung exponent of 2 natin, kailangan natin matanggal by the radical symbol. Kaso, meron negative yung fraction. So, ang magiging sagot mo dyan, eh, undefined pa rin. Kasi, basta may negative, Kaya fraction yan, or kaya whole number, or decimal, lagi siyang undefined pagka nasa loob siya ng radical. Ngayon naman, yung example natin dito, eh, iba na yung forma niya. Kasi kanina, ax squared plus c equals 0, pero ngayon, mayroon na siyang parentheses. So, yung ax plus c nyo, inside, nasa loob na siya ng parentheses, tapos, it's being raised to 2, plus another constant. So, solve natin yung example number 1. Meron tayong x minus 5 squared minus 100 equals 0. So, kagaya ng dati, subtract ng 100, meron x minus 5 squared equals 100, now, ngayon, medyo weird kasi yung uh, exponent of 2 natin ay nasa parenthesis na, wala na sa x. Pero ganun pa rin yung procedure kasi kailangan natin matanggal lagi yung exponent bago tayo, bago natin ito galawin. So, square root mo yung x minus 5 squared, square root mo rin yung 100 para matanggal yung exponent mo. Kaya meron na lang tayong x minus 5 equals plus or minus 100 kasi yung square ng 100 is 10. So, to further simplify, add kayo ng 5 on both sides. And this time, meron kayong x equals 5 plus or minus 10. So, kung ganito na yung expression nyo, kailangan mo pa rin siyang isolve. So, may dalawa ka pa rin sagot. So, split mo siya into 2. 1 is 5 plus 10. At yung isa naman, 5 minus 10. Kasi, every time magsasagot tayo ng quadratic equation, expect nyo na na meron tayong dalawang sagot. So, ngayon, meron tayong x equals 15 at saka x equals negative 5. At yung number 2, uh, similar to number 1, pag sinolve nyo siya, add, um, subtract 1 on both sides. You always do the oper opposite operation. And that, now, magkakaroon ka na na x plus 2 squared equals negative 1. And to get rid of the exponent, kailangan mong um, take your square root on both sides. And we'll have x plus 2 equals the square root of negative 1. And mula do sa previous slide, negative number, undefined. So, yung example number 2 natin is undefined. Now, for example number 3, 
Solve natin. X plus 2. Uh, quantity x plus 2 squared minus 7 equals 0. So add tayo ng 7 on both sides. And get rid of the exponent by taking the square root of both sides. We'll have x plus 2 equals plus or minus. Now this time yung square root of 7, syempre hindi wala namang number na perfect or hindi siya perfect square. So i iiwan nyo lang siyang square root of 7. Huwag nyo nang gamitan ng calculator. Radical sign yung ipapakita natin which is square root of 7 or plus or minus square root of 7. So Ganun pa rin, tulad ng dati, subtract 2 because meron pang x. Kailangan yung x, mag-isa lang siya. So, eh, tanggalin nyo siya by subtracting 2 on both sides. So, ngayon, x is by itself. Pero ngayon, negative 2 plus or minus square root of 7. Lagi yung tandaan na ang real number at radical, hindi mo pwedeng pagsamahin yan. Parang x plus y, hindi mo siya pwede pagsamahin. Tulad rin yan ng negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 7. Hindi mo siya pwede i-combine. So, ang sagot, magiging sagot mo lang is negative 2 plus square root of 7 para sa first value of x and yung other value of x mo is negative 2 minus square root of 7. So, yan na yung sagot nyo. Hindi nyo na kayang i-simplify yan unless gagamitan nyo ng calculator. So, accept acceptable answer na siya. So, medyo weird yung answer pero uh, ganyan talaga yung minsan nagiging sagot pagka quadratic equation yung kinukuha nyo or sinosolve nyo x. So, for number 4, meron tayong x minus 3 squared minus 3 equals 6. Kailangan natin mag-solve ng x. So, add 3 on both sides. Then, meron tayong x minus 3 quantity squared equals 9. Uh, tanggalin natin exponent by taking the square root of both sides. And we'll have x minus 3 equals square root of 9 is a perfect square or 9 is a perfect square. Kaya, 3, yung simplified, simplest form niya. So, x minus 3 equals plus or minus 3. Add 3 on both sides. So, meron tayong x equals 3 plus 3, and x equals 3 minus 3. So, dalawa na naman yung answer natin. So, to further simplify it, yung isang x is 6, yung isang x is 0.